instability of the system. Stability of the system by using the Z transform. So, first thing you must know what is the stable system. So, uh, whenever a continuous system is there, continuous function is there for continuous time domain, the system uh, is stable only when its uh, poles lies in the left side of the left side of the uh, S plane, right? So, for the stability of the system, the system must be finite or the bounded. That means it must be integrable for a particular range. And uh, by the ROC, when uh, uh, we are discussing about the Laplace transform, the stability of the system is only defined for the ROC when it includes the J omega axis. That is for the Laplace transform. That means the system is stable only when its ROC cover the J omega axis that is when it cover the line sigma is equal to 0. Now whenever Z transform is concerned here all the ROCs are defined in terms of the circle and in this case the straight line of Laplace transform uh, that means the straight line of ROC of Laplace transform is replaced by the circle. In the same way the stability of the system by using the ROC of the Z transform is defined when the ROC of the system contains the Z is equal to 1 circle. That means when ROC of the system contain unity circle, okay, then the system will be stable. That means if we are having the pole Z is equal to 2 and the system is a LHS that is it is containing minus of n then ROC will be inside of the circle. Inside of circle that means the values of z which are lesser than 2. Lesser than 2 that means it is 1 and so on. So it will cover the 1 that means the system will be stable. Okay. And similarly if we are having z is equal to 2 pole and our system is all right sided that is containing plus n then ROC must be outside of the circle so outside of the circle z is equal to 2, 2 that means this is this lies from 2 to infinite that means 2 3 4 5 and 6 so in this case ROC will not contain the unit circle so the system will be unstable so this is the way how to find out the stability of the discrete system by using the ROC concept. So I am writing here the system will be stable only when its ROC of J transform covers the unit circle z is equals to 1 ok if z is equals to 1 is not covered then system will be unstable for example for example if xn is equals to 2 to the power of n u n ok so in this case x of z is equals to z upon z minus of 2 so its ROC will be because it is containing the plus n so its ROC will be mod of z is greater than 2 that is it is outside of the circle mod of z is equal to 2 ok so here it is the RHS and outside of the circle so it is not containing it is not containing mod of z is equals to 1 circle, units, unity circle, then system will be unstable. Okay. And 
second case xn is equals to 2n u minus of n minus of n then is in this case xz is equals to minus of z upon z minus of 2 and what will be the ROC? ROC will be mod of z less than 2 so ROC will be lesser than 2 inside of the circle so what will be there? its ROC containing mod of z is equal to 1 circle then system will be stable ok so in this way we can find out the stability by using the z transform concept so it is the case whenever we are taking only some single function but mostly uh, your uh, system, uh, system consists of the more than two functions